We first got involved with the studies at the Mind Institute. I think it was a friend mentioned the Mind Institute. I had no idea what it was. So I went online and I looked and then I saw that they were doing research. And I thought, hmm, we're new to this autism game. Let's see what's going on with this. And uh, we signed up for some studies and uh, we ended up doing a couple of them and it's just gone on from there. We started when he was uh, three and he's now almost 13. So we've been with the Mind Institute for almost 10 years. I feel like being in the study has really helped us to understand his kind of autism. We didn't know that there were really different kinds. I mean, everybody talked about high functioning autism and low functioning autism, but we're finding out now through the APP study that there are subsets and we're finding out that he's in a certain kind of subset and we're having to learn how to deal with the issues of, of his subset. Participating in this new study with the bigger brain kids is so important because we're seeing that with our son, he had speech and he lost speech. And through the MRIs that he did, we found that his brain grew faster and bigger. He has a very plump brain. And at school, they don't know how to work with him. So hopefully through this new study, we'll be able to find ways that teachers will be able to work with our kids and help them to achieve more. I recommend this study to everybody. We are only seeing a very small group of kids and we need to get more kids in this study so that we can find out what, what there is out there, all the different subsets and how we can work with them and help them to be the best them that they are. Learning how to work with each of these kids is so important and it's not only important for the kids that are in here right now, it's even more important for the future generation so that starting at an early age, we can start working with them in the right ways.